Okay guys, so I have the mother load from Dollar Tree on the Cricut stuff. I was really surprised to find it. I didn't think I would, but I did and um, found a lot of it. There were cases and cases of it. Now I'm hearing people are buying it and reselling it for profit. So I don't know how much I'm gonna find in the future. So I am glad that I went on there and went in there and picked up the vinyl because I'm going to test it out later, but from what I felt and I saw someone else use it, you really can't beat this deal. So you're getting 12. Now, first I thought this was gonna be like 12 by 12, right? For a dollar and then, okay. Cause they didn't normally charge for a 12 by 12 flat sheet at somewhere like Michael's, $2 for a 12 by 12. For a roll like this, you're looking at spending anywhere between eight and could be 13, 14, up to $17 or something. So this is 12 by 48 inches. And I'll show you a piece of it. And I did get every color they had because they had full cases there. So they have removable black and they have permanent black, okay? So those, those are two that they have. Then they have removable white and permanent white, okay? They have removable red, and they only have removable red, it's not in the permanent, okay? They have permanent green, They have permanent glitter paper. This stuff is so good because, let me tell you, I make these puts houses at Christmas and I use actual glitter paper. It's not even vinyl that's a self-adhesive. You have to glue it on for accent pieces and it really messes up your Cricut. When I mean messes up, it, does it, it makes it messy, okay? And it can dull your blades. This gives you that full appearance of the glitter without the glitter falling off, without it being coarse. This is so perfect. I wish I had got even more of this, but I think I have three or four rolls. So this is the glitter paper and this is permanent. Permanent glitter and there's more removable black. Here's the, and I was actually looking at this same yellow in another brand and I didn't buy it. And Michael, somebody just told me not to buy it, I was gonna, and that's, this is a dollar, permanent. Okay. Removable blue. Permanent black, because you're gonna use your black and white, you're gonna use all the time. Okay, this is permanent white, and this is permanent glitter paper. This is the silver, really good too with, with those houses. I wish I had bought even more of the glitters. Okay, another yellow. A lot of projects with yellow. This is the transfer tape, comes in two different kinds. Now, this one doesn't say the tack, but I know someone that used it and said it was a pretty strong tack. So, uh, tackiness. This says medium tack with the grid lines. And on the transfer paper, you get 38 inches here and 36 here. So, you're getting three feet and um, a little over three feet for a dollar. That's a great deal. And that seems like good paper. These scrapers, also good. You're gonna spend anywhere like about eight, eight dollars for something like this, six, eight dollars, seven, eight, depending on where you get it. And believe me, you always misplace your scrapers. Scrapers are always good to have multiples of. They have the weeders, craft pickers they call them. And another thing you'll need multiple of, especially if you're doing it with someone else, um, and they have it only, I saw the two colors, like a peach or a white. They have the spatulas and these look very good quality. And these, and that's another reason I'm glad I got multiples. Okay. And craft picker. These are really good. Um, I showed you these before, but these are good to hold your pens or your tools, especially if you're traveling. 
Um, you don't want to be traveling with something like that hanging out of somewhere. These expand and you can put your tools in them. Great idea. So I picked up a few more of those. Then we have, okay, let's go back to the papers. The glitter paper, gold. This is permanent. Glitter paper, silver, okay, black. So I think we've got to all the colors that they have there. So I think we have uh, everything there. And that's all our papers. So you got papers, tools, and the transfer tape. Then they have these, um, let's see, uh, these Sterilite, these were Sterilite boxes. Saw these, and these were good for embellishments. I think you could even probably, I think yep, the tools even fit in there. So picked up a few of these. Again, Sterilite, that's a good deal. Um, all right, let's go on to some other new things that are there. They have these, two of these left in the garden section. This is a bigger kind of trowel rake if you have a raised bed or something. And someone said they had some shovels, but they only had the rakes, and they have a really nice, uh, almost like a memory foam kind of soft grip there, wood. I was really impressed with that. Okay, and in another haul, I picked up some of these uh, little trinket boxes in black and white, and they have like a honeycomb pattern there. So if you have a bee design, but they're perfect for your Cricut to put something on the top and on the side, little bees or whatever, you can put little bees on there. Really cute, you could paint the top if you want. So I picked up a couple more of those. I have some in black and white. And I picked up, I think, I think it was like three in the, in the uh, white. Now, um, they have a very nautical theme. So here they have their nautical rope tied into this ball. And I'm having a nautical theme in my bathroom down here, which I'll be revealing. So I want to let you see that this is just the jute ball and it's in their shore living collection so they're stepping it up okay and they have these um really nice packs of sand dollars there's three in there so that was nice in the shore living again And then they had these. And then I'm gonna show you something else. They have these on beach time, which I, of course, I'm going to redo this to like on late time. So we'll I'll show you that and I'll be using my Cricut for that. And this one too. The only thing I'll probably be utilizing is that little sand dollar. I'll leave it there I like, or put it on another project. And so I got a couple of those. Those are gonna be a DIY redo, okay? Then these are nice if you have the metal craft carts because they're magnetic. And I don't remember really seeing them in colors, but now they're in colors. So these are nice for holding little doodads on your cart. Okay. And then I saw these little, um, you know me and the sunflowers, but I thought these would be nice to put in the plants that I put outside and stuff on the deck or in a flower box. It's the sunflower, it's a solar light, and it uh, actually pivots. So if you want it to focus that light somewhere, again, it's a solar stake light, and I'll try these out and I'll let you see how they look at night. Picked up a few of these just because I thought they were so cute. They also have some other stuff from the coastal shop, and I'm going to be taking these off the stakes. And I told you I have that nautical theme in my bathroom, so this is like coast. And then they have this sailboat. So I'm gonna I'm gonna actually clip those off the stakes and use and 
use those. They have tons and tons of beach theme signs. The only ones I got were these and I'll show you these sailboats, which I'm going to redo. <coughs> Excuse me, I just swallowed wrong. But I don't want um, any of the other signs. I have a lot of signs. I have plenty to redo too. These are really nice. Again, I'm going to use these in my nautical theme bathroom. Little embellishments. You can tie them around a jar or the decoupage or anything like that. And it's really nice because they don't have like a separate hole. You can just put it through there. You can even make a garland with them. Another thing were these uh, garden dishes, and these are nice. Um, you can do a succulent garden in there. You could even do a small fairy garden would be really nice if you were having a summer party, and you could do up little fairy gardens, let people take them home in these. That would be really cute. So I got a couple of those. Okay. Then... I got these um, for my kids. There are spinners. Um, let's see. They are patriotic, patriotic spinning wands. And instructions. So we have to take out the battery compartment. And then how cool is that? Reminds me something I had that I got at the Disney store and I bought like a freaking case of them in Florida and brought them home. They were these Mr. Potato Heads and they had, um, I probably have some around here somewhere, um, like strands that came out. I think I have a video of Ethan having one in his hand and they did something like that, but they, they turned around like crazy. But look at that. Cool, isn't that? Okay. So I picked up a couple of those. All right. Um, then let me go over here. Okay. Oh yeah, I got these, which I really like, and I'll tell you why. These are the um, scalloped containers, and you see them. These are great, okay, not only for entertaining because you can put things like that in them and they look really nice and people can see what they are, but they fit perfectly in a lot of the baskets, like two by two, and I think your stickers and things that you can, and you can see, I have a problem with putting stuff away and not seeing it. So these are another thing you can use with your Cricut cards. These are the Papa Dot adhesives, really important. And then, oh my gosh, this is the Grow Green Ribbon. They only had two of these. Look at the little lighthouses. Aren't they adorable? Got that. And um, this is another thing, for even for ribbon, because you put your ribbons in there, you can see them. Let me see, they'll even go that way. So really cool idea. I haven't seen these in a long time. The Job's plant spikes, so I got some of these for my African violets. They had some for flowering and some for house plants. And this was new to the fairy garden. Again, the sailboat. Those were really cute. Okay, and let's see. And these were really super cute. Uh, they're little sand pails. Really nice for. Um, Decorating little things. Okay, and let me show you what I mean. Okay. They had the ship's anchors, like I told you. You saw that one I have that's a um, coat hook, but I thought this would be cute in that bathroom too. And if it's not the right color blue, I'll repaint it. So. They had those in a variety of, I just put them in red, white, and blue, but I did, I got, so you could do a 4th of July theme, but I got the blue and the white. Again, this is the 
That's the tag you're looking for, the shore living. Super cute. Okay, so like for instance, this one you could put a Cricut label on it, stickers or something, a ribbon, and you can fit. Look, this is another ribbon. Like two of these in there, okay, if you wanted to carry them around or put them on a shelf. Okay, then they have these really, really, really pretty starfish, and that's the white. And, oh, another one of those um, things that I'll be cutting off is these fish, and they have it in kind of a yellow or gold. And this one has a shell and starfish. I'm going to cut those off and use them to maybe embellish a basket. I have all those baskets, remember, I got last year that I've been spray painting and stuff. And then, you know, my all my longer burger, maybe use that for to tie it on as a basket embellishment. Okay. Got a few more uh, floral picks because I have a bunch of containers that I'm gonna DIY. I did this one, you might have seen me. I don't know, did I show you this one? This little flower pot. And I don't even know if I showed you my Christmas tree shop haul. I don't know I did, but I don't know if I did because I think I showed you bits and pieces like the spinners and stuff, but I got this, it was $3.99 over there and I put those flowers in it. And they also have these and they have little, um, like I didn't get them, they were like galvanized or white little votive holders and they had little uh, nautical embellishments on them, but they have these little pails with an anchor and with a ship's wheel. I'm not sure if they had a white one. Probably would have got it if they had a white one, so I doubt it. Okay. And they have these little nautical little clippies, and these are little starfish. These are really cute, especially if you do a little DIY. Um, I have some of those signs, and you could put those there to hold a picture or something. All right. And then these are so cute and you could take these and use these as embellishment too. And it's perfect, the colors for my bathroom. The little sailboats, this would be cute on a decoupage drawer. Pick those up. And then the whales, so super cute. Okay, and again, those are the type of thing that works perfect and something like this container I'm gonna put it on the side where you can see you can stick those in there and there and there and you still have room to like stick these Okay, and then you have your nautical shapes. You can go in, in the box there. Okay, now. Let's see, did I, I don't know if I showed you that's my Christmas tree haul. So these are the houseplants. I think I might not have because I'm so tired of uh, dealing with, what are you doing with that? Where are you gonna put that? You know, it's like, am I calling you to come here? Okay, so here's another, um, this is the Natural Organic Expanding Soil Alternative. I'm gonna check this out. I'm gonna do a test, a bunch of testing of the products at Dollar Tree, are they worth it or not? So 10 times expanding soil alternative. So we'll try that and see what these are like. 
did buy a few of those. And I'll show you what I like about these. You can put them in a binder. So if you have a binder, like say with your vinyl and you have little pieces of vinyl or whatever, but it's just so cute. It's got a little rainbow on the zipper. You open it up and it's clear back here. So yeah, I mean like if you have a little binder and people sometimes put them in a photo album, like a three ring photo album, but you could put your tools behind there if you're traveling. You know, like the, not the pointy tools, but like stuff like that, or maybe some scrap or whatever, or I'm always thinking photo chips, and you could have your photo chips in a binder, and things like that. Cute. Okay. Next. Okay. They had uh, this starfish. Very cute. Okay. Then they had this girl green ribbon. And this one. And then this is something new too. Haven't seen that in the, the dots, those stick on embellishments, and those are good for crafts. They had them in a bunch of colors. This is like two types of blue, or even it looks like a little purple. And I, first time I've seen this in the white and silver, but they had it in the red and they had it in the black this time. Super cute. And then another lighthouse ribbon. So again, these containers here. just your ribbons of the season in there and that's a good idea or as Martha would say that's a good thing right? okay. and more pop dot adhesives because you can I never have too many of those when you're doing cards and things. And okay. Okay, so and this is another. They had two types of the blue starfish, and by the time I was finished, they were already one type was already all gone. So they must have just come in. Um and get, they got stuff out and then the white starfish. Really super cute. Okay. Then, hold on. They, um, again, with the nautical theme, I'm doing some whales and I already have some whales, but the blue whale they had wasn't the color blue that I wanted. It was, um, so I got the white whale and you can take your Cricut and put something on there. Like whale come you know, or, you know, have a nice splash or whatever. So that's a little well. Yeah, and they had two types, well, they had two types, but two colors of whale dishes. Again, you can put something on them with your Cricut and put your soap in there. I mean, it doesn't have to be bar soap. You can also put a liquid soap in there. So that's this one. And the other one, I showed it last night, so it's over here. Oh, here it is. Yeah, I had it over there on my desk. This one. And they had them in the blue too, but I think it was a really, I don't remember if it was a light blue or a really dark blue. I can't quite remember, but those are nice for your Cricut. And then, So 
So there's a DIY that I'm going to do. Like I said, they have lots of nautical signs. I did not buy a lot. I bought only a few. I didn't buy the other signs, you know, like take me to the beach. See this? Gone to the beach. This is going to be a really easy DIY for me. The only thing I'm going to change is the bottom. And it's going to say, gone to the lake. So I'll just recover this in either a paper or I'll paint it. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna put lake in the Cricut letters. I'm going to leave this with the, cause I like that for sailing. Uh, and I may leave this, I think I will leave the starfish there. Even though it's ocean, but I don't know if I find something I'll put on there, but I like that one. Probably hang that in the bathroom. And then they have the other one, which is all you need is love and the beach. And again, what I'm gonna change here is all you need is love in the lake. I probably will change this one just because I don't like sparkly, so I'll get something that'll cover that or um, do something maybe with my Cricut there. And those are gonna be a DIY. And then I liked this one. It actually has the colors of my master bathroom and I thought I might put it somewhere around my jacuzzi, relax. And this is, um, you know, galvanized letters, so I'm sure people are gonna be getting these and pulling those off. And I could have picked up tons. I mean, it was completely stocked, but I said, no, Carolyn, you gotta be a little bit of a minimalist. Okay, so then, David has been talking about the 4th of July decorating. And I mean, I've put buntings on the house and a few things, but I don't really get too crazy. But this was a red, white, and blue little, um, they had very little uh, in the, I don't know whether it hasn't come in in that store because the other store had it and that's the decor. And I know I didn't show you my other haul because there are a few things I got, but I guess I've just been not wanting to hear the crap. And this is USA. So I did pick up that. <coughs> Even though we know the crap talkers are just jealous. And then they add these stars on this. So I got one of those. Okay. And then there were a couple of things that I got for 4th of July. And I'll, I'll show it. I did the last time the other one, along with some buckets that I don't know where I put them got this God Bless America. I'll probably paint the frame in a chalk paint. And I thought that was cute to put out. And then I got this, which I'm going to redo that. And that'll be a DIY. Okay. All right, let's go to the next thing. They have these super cute solar figures. How cute are these? Here's a little fox, solar powered, and then lights shine out of his eyes. I'll show you how they look. They have the hedgehog. <laughs> they have the sloth. The bullfrog. Cute. Okay. This would be cute all along the stairs down to the lake. All right, now. Oh, I don't know if you saw it, because I didn't show you my lesson. Don't stop believing, sprout some love. This is nice, and you could take this and put this in your plants or in your plant room or in your greenhouse or something like that. All right. Let me see, I was going to show you the cute little pails I got at the Dollar Tree. I showed you a couple of things. I might have showed them to you in a little bit in that uh, 
oil on. Maybe I didn't. I tell you, I really am just ugh, with these people. So it's like I didn't, maybe I didn't go over that, but uh, and there are some things I did not show in that. And that other one. So just because, uh, I don't know, I just, you know, I hate giving them more content because they can't make their own content. I hate giving them more. But I uh, had some really nice little pails from there uh, for the 4th of July that I got that last time when I went down for, what was it, my second vaccine. But they were, they were cute. I'll come across them and show them to you. Either that or I'll show them to you in my 4th of July decorating. I will show that. All right, um, I think that's it for the Cricut stuff. I do have a diamond painting haul coming up. I have taste tests coming up, starting on them. I've got to get some of those up that I've already done. I've got more coming with the sauce. I'm going to have more Dollar Tree product DI, you know, tryouts and see how they work and stack up. And um, I know there's stuff that I'm missing, but I'll just put it towards the next time I show you something and... Um, well, let me show you something real quick. This was a little glass bottle that is going to go in my bathroom reveal down here too, which you'll see that I picked up at the um, Dollar General. It's got a little anchor on it and it's, it's a little coating and I just put some of the flowers from in there from the Dollar Tree. I just arranged them and I thought that looked cute. So that'll go in there, and we don't know. Oh, here they are, here they are. Let me show you. Okay, that's good. I'm glad we found them. Okay, haters, some more content for you. They have these really pretty bee boxes. Now, this was a box by itself. It's the larger one. I think there's one down from that, but then these were two of them. So those are the only, I just got these three, but then I saw there is a size between this one and this one, it comes single, but I, I didn't. These are also good. I like this design with the bees, but if you didn't, these are great for decoupage and this big size. I should have thought about that. Next time I go back, I will get some more of these bigger ones to paint and decoupage because they have them in some floral ones that I don't really care for, but that is a good idea for decoupage because that's a nice size box for a dollar and I have to get some decoupage done for people. Okay, and then they also whoa, had this um, fresh flower market. This is really nice to put on a large basket or something, especially if you fill it with flowers. So those are really cute. And then weeded and reap, true, great for your greenhouse or your plant room, going out to a garden. I would if you're gonna keep it outside, I would try to seal it. Okay, and then these cute pals. This is what I got. These are from the other Dollar Tree haul, the one when I got my vaccine. So they have that. We have this, this would be cute to fill up with little, um, Red, white, and blue flowers. And this one, really cute. And then I got another little truck. And I thought, oh, that looks nice with that sign. I'm definitely gonna chalk paint that frame. So I'll show you those DIYs. And let's see. Oh yeah, they had this one, which is uh, locally grown fresh produce. It has a little steak, but you can take it off there. It even has a hanger. So <clears throat> I think that's it. But yeah, run to and walk for your cricket stuff. I really hope people aren't going to hoard and resell because then no one's going to get them. And um, yeah, but look how nice like those there and just a few little things i don't plan to go crazy but i think that'll look nice on the coffee table i usually have my those milk um 
bottles that we made with Mama Ames and I change out flowers for there so that I'll look nice and I can put a couple of like these around it. Okay, that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Sorry for the breaks. I'm not going to, you know, edit and stuff. Just look gonna leave it like that. And uh, I hope that you like it. See you later, bye. And this was something I got on another haul a few weeks back, the one I didn't show you. This was the only one I saw there and it was out there. I've been looking for them. I have all the other galvanized signs, but I really want to find these mason jars. I only found one and then I picked up. Now, sometimes when you make a Cricut, you'll see it'll say, have a little um, embellishment or something that goes on the card. And these kinds of stickers are perfect for that, okay? to add to those cards. So keep them with your Cricut stash and it's a whole nother use for these types of stickers and the way that they're like 3D, they're perfect for cards. So this is a family one. I always pick up family ones. And this is, whoops, forgot a few things. So along the coastal living, they have these three pack of these starfish. So we got a couple packs of those. And then also, and they had different sands in here. They had them with blue. They had a few different styles of these. It's Seize the Day Beach Club. It's got some sand in there. You can put a picture or a little sign for your cricket. And then I did get this sign that says welcome. Again, because these are like the colors of my master bath kind of, and that welcome is galvanized. Let me take that off, okay. Those two of my vinyls. Whoops. Whoops. Okay. That. And a couple more of those. So that's that's what I have for you guys. Take care. Hope you have a good day. I have other stuff coming up. See you later. Oh, and I did um I picked up a few a couple of these to make some arrangements to bring to the center for my parents. Um so they have those in stock now too. Okay, see you later guys, bye. Really nice, and then it's you shine. Well done, you're a star, you're awesome. And I love these old timey ones. They remind me of those little metal things that I have that for Holly Hobby, but they're by Durham. Really cute, and I love the light bulb. And then here's another one again. This is perfect for embellishing cards. And this one I got because I'm going to use this gone fishing um, on something uh, for Ray. And I'll show you that these cute and um, that. And I also, let me show you just a couple of things. Again, I'm not showing you everything because whack jobs. It's more than I don't want them, you know you know, they can't make their own content, so they they use me, and I'm tired of, you know, helping them be nothing. You know, do nothing. And, they, they, I mean, they haven't learned they're not going to be successful like that, but they just keep spinning their wheels. But whatever. And you are my sunshine. I guess in the end, you got to pity them. They have no talent, but anyway, and they're just truly mean and abusive people. So, we, I'm not gonna let it bother me. I'll do all my hauls now. Yeah, go ahead. You know what? You don't pay my bills. You don't put my stuff away. You don't live my life. I wish you did, but you don't. And uh, this is not to any of the ramblers. These are just to the, the mean abusive people on YouTube that have um, black hearts. All right, everybody. Sorry, didn't want to get into that. Coming up on the anniversary of my son's passing, and I guess I'm just being a little introspective and thinking, like, what is wrong with you, you know? Not, yeah. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. So, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'm not going to let it steal my joy. If I enjoy sharing a haul with you, I'm going to share the darn haul with you. All right? So don't worry about that from now on. I will. Take care, guys. Love you. God bless. Bye-bye. 
I also picked up these daisies and these cornflower flowers. And I'm just gonna do a test again. It's gonna be in one of the things that we test. I'm also going to try out those herb rockets that I bought a while ago. So there'll be a video where we'll start those and then we'll follow up and see how they do. And let me see if there was something else that I came across while I was doing that, but I think that is it right now. <laughs> um, love you guys, have a good day and take care, bye-bye.